Hello there guys, I see Panda here, bringing you some more Red Orchestra 2 gameplay, commentary, and kind of flop there being, god damn it. <laughs> but um, yeah guys, today I'm playing on Guadalcanal. I haven't played this map before, and it's at night, so it's a nighttime map. Very, very interesting, I should be bring some good gameplay footage with this map, hopefully. If I don't suck, that is. Um, I think we're actually attacking on this map, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we are. Fuck, is that a grenade? Is that a grenade? Bandage. Right. I really hate nightmares. For you, for all you guys that actually don't know my gameplay style, I hate playing nightmares. See, I can't see shit. I go completely blind as a bat when playing uh, nightmares. Ugh, this is not going to Oh, awesome, they even have the, uh, what the Americans used to use. They used to um, tie rope to tin cans and place them among certain areas which are more likely for, you know, the Japanese to step through. So they would actually trigger them uh, tin cans and alert the Americans. So that's quite an interesting fact, that uh, interesting mechanism they added into it. Quite pleased with that, actually. No, I don't see anything. Oh, there we go. Now I see something. And Jack O'Neill gets in my line of sight. Thank you, Jack. Oh, we've lost. What? I just joined the damn server, for God's sake. Wow. We couldn't even get past the first... Uh, the first two points. That's a bit embarrassing, to say the least. Capture the enemy's territory objectives. Okay, it looks like we're having another go at this. Come on. Let's see if we can actually make something happen here. Uh, I haven't really played this map before, so I don't really know what to do exactly, if I'm honest with you guys. Uh, oh, I just saw them. I saw a hell of a lot of them, actually. Chuck some grenades over. Hope to get a few people, maybe. Oh, I see, I see, I'm getting... Oh, did I kill two people or did I just kill my teammates? Oh, yeah, I killed two people also. Right, the Americans are just over there. Now, they are actually suppressing me right now, so that's not good. Oh god, this is not a good position to be in right now. Can I even see these guys? Ah, there we are. There's one of them. Lucky guys, lucky all over the place. Can I zoom in? No, I can't. My gun's jerking all over the damn place right now. There we go. I actually like this bolt action rifle, it's actually the Ari Saka I used to use it. Hopefully pronounce no I'm probably not pronouncing it right, but god damn it, who cares? I used to use this a lot on um, World at War when I used to play the damn game. There we go. There we go. When you're suppressed your aiming does go a bit fucked up and you know you your aiming gets really, really dodgy, so gotta bear that in mind. I'm not quite sure how much ammunition the riflemen get, but it's probably about five clips or something. It's not a problem anyway, you can always pick up guns from downed enemy soldiers. But this map looks really nice. Um, I'm not a night map type of guy, I really am not, but this is actually bearable. Alright, enough camping. Enough camping, let's, let's just get down and help our teammates. In the close quarters fire. I love this Banzai attack, honestly, it's awesome. <laughs> Such an awesome feature that they added. Could you imagine like 10 guys charging at you using Banzai? I would shit myself. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Alright, bad idea. Bad idea. No, it looks like people are already raging in chat and being racist as always. I mean, you get douchebags on every game, guys, but uh, I 
can't be helped. Can't be helped. Four kills so far, which is that's pretty damn good. That is pretty damn good to say the least. I did have a recording earlier on of me playing uh, Iwo Jima, but I was playing with the um, with the Americans that time, and I was playing so freaking bad, absolutely bad. I was like, "There's no way I can put this up. No way." So I thought, I thought I'd try my luck with another map. And... Hmm. Sorry, I go quiet sometimes when I think I see someone, and you know, my my brain just locks out, and it just thinks, "Okay, well, I see, shut up, and just look for the damn guy." Oh, there we go, there we go. American just ran past. Come on, I know you're there. I know you're there. You know you want to come out. Come on. Oh fuck. Oh god, I did not get him, did I? Oh shit. They're just running all over the damn place right now. And the scary thing is, we're so close to each other. That's the crazy thing. There we go. One other guy. I don't like camping, but... In this instance, I'm gonna have to, because I'm literally right where they... kind of spawn, I think. Should we be attacking? Oh. Okay, that's that's my fault. I was camping like a douchebag. I, I got what I had coming to me. Okay. So we've taken them to areas, I think. Or we're attempting to take them. This is going to be a very, very long game if we don't end up <laughs> attacking their objectives. Right, they're spawning on bonf bonfire here. Bonefire, I should say. Not bonfire. Alright, we're 35 meters away from the uh, checkpoint. Oh my god, just getting torn up by machine gun fire there. And my computer screen is having a fit because I'm on this really weird edge bit. It's not liking where I'm standing. In fact, I'm seeing through the floor. How, how convenient. Right, let's get ourselves up off there. Being suppressed again. Right, we need to push up. Nice, good kill. I'm probably... oh, is that some guy? Ah. Oh fuck, flamethrower guy. I really need to try them flamethrowers out because they look so damn fun to use. But trust me, they're like the most annoying thing in the world to fight against. If they come close up to you, there's... seriously, there's practically nothing you can bloody do. Oh my god, look what these guys are saying in the bloody chat. Goodness sake. I don't know what has happened to good sportsmanship, but that's clearly gone out the window with a lot of people. Right, we just need to attack the left side. In fact, we still need to attack the right. We still need to attack the right. Was there enemy just spotted? Me. Another guy? Yeah, it was. Ah, oh, fuck! I took too long with that. <laughs> see what I mean? I have seriously, I have bats vision at night time. I can't see shit. That's why I play so horribly. But yeah, guys, um, I am actually really enjoying Red Orchestra 2 again. Um, I didn't have a problem playing with the uh, with the Russians and the um, Germans, so to speak. But 
it's, it's nice to have a change of pace. You know, it's nice to kind of try out something different and... Look at this guy. <laughs> Derp. But it's nice to have a change of pace, you know, just... When games add in new content like this, it kind of spices the game up. God, that was very, very close. That was extremely close. Yeah, but as I was saying, guys, it, it kind of spices the game up a bit. Adds something new to the game. And, um, what? What the hell did I die from? Oh, it must have been another guy. Please select a new role. Uh, okay, that was unexpected. Okay, whatever, just spawn me in, please. I hate when it does that. I hate when it kind of forces you to switch roles or switch teams and you know that, that it is a bit of a pain in the ass it really is but you know it's, it's not something major like I was saying I love playing as the uh, Germans you know they have weapons which are absolutely legendary at least to me like I love using the Karnai AK such a good gun um, and the Russians are also good but having the Japanese and the Americans in the game now, in multiplayer I should say. Oh my god, what the hell? I'm playing as the Americans now. I thought I was still playing as the Japanese. What the ugh. Oh god, alright guys, alright, whatever. So now we're defending. So you can ignore the whole thing of me saying uh we're gonna be defending with the Japanese, blah blah blah. We're not defending the Jap uh, Japanese or attacking as the Japanese, we're defending as the Americans. Which bloody sucks donkey balls, but can't really do anything about us, unfortunately. Right, we're gonna take cover here. I don't think anyone can flank from the right. So I'm gonna keep my eyes open. Oh shit! No! Oh my god! Oh my god, are you serious right now? That, ladies and gentlemen, is the biggest derp I've ever made, ever, on Red Orchestra Oh, that point blank range. My gun was aimed at him and I still managed to miss, like a complete idiot. And that's how you. <laughs> and that's how you should not be playing Red Orchestra 2. Japanese there. Oh my god, that guy just took two shots to fucking drop him. It's bloody insane. Oh god, what am I doing? Yeah. There we go. We're flanking along the right. Left, sorry. I didn't even get my directions wrong, god damn it. Yeah, they can be anywhere. We need to really watch ourselves right now. Oh man! Really? I'm pretty sure I shot that guy in the face. Correct me if I'm wrong, but. Oh fuck! No, 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 run, 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 run. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. Almost, I thought I killed my teammate there. That would have been a right piss take. Right, let's push back because he's really thinking we're still in that little trench there. Is that someone? No, that's our teammate. Okay. Because I don't want him to flank around and end up killing me. And I can absolutely avoid that from happening. Ugh, I hate these stupid kids which are just spanging the chat with absolute nonsense. It's kind of sad when you have people talking trash like this on chat. It's just like absolutely unnecessary. Just play the damn game and enjoy it. Why do you have to bring politics into the damn thing? You know, yes, it's a World War II... Uh, war game but doesn't require people to just chat nonsense does it? Oh there we go. Oh fuck. 
Oh god. That that was inevitable. <laughs> Staying in bunkers like that was absolutely inevitable for me to be killed. Alright, but honestly they are really pushing us right now. They are really pushing us back. But I think you know what, this Springfield is actually a really good gun. Um, it's accurate, and I think it's actually more accurate than the Japanese Arisaka is. I keep si Do you know what, I'm not even going to say that, because it just sounds wrong to say. It doesn't feel right in my tongue. That just sounds even more wrong. Do you know what, I'm going to stop speaking now. I'm just talking nonsense. Right, how far have we pushed? Okay, so they're just practically over this hill right now. Right over this hill. Yeah, I'm gonna go... Wait, I'll probably push up a bit more. I'll push up ever so slightly and I'll take cover behind this truck. That way I've got a good line of sight of what's coming over there. And they can't really kill me from over here, so. Just, the only thing is, it's just when you're playing as a defensive side, you got a. Uh, what? How many meters was that? God damn, that was far. Yeah, if you're playing as the defensive side, then it can kind of, you know, get a bit boring, but. Well, I want to say boring, but you kind of get impatient, and you start doing stupid stuff which you shouldn't be doing, which kind of really fucks you over in the long run. But I'm just gonna, um, yeah, I'm not gonna stay here. I'm not gonna stay here. They're suppressing us up completely right now. Right, I'm gonna hide over here. Dropped him. Dropped him. Is that a guy there or is that what is that? I can't exactly tell what that is. Oh they are bombing the absolute crap out of us right now. Yeah, that is their artillery. Oh man, this is not good. They've got like a whole team pinned down in here. I'm gonna head out, I'm gonna head out and try and help our teammates by flanking around from where they're coming. There's no point of everyone going into one the same place because it's just not gonna end well at all. Right, I'll go prone. Reload. Always reload when you have a chance, trust me. Let's jump over here, flank around. See if we can take out anyone coming around from here. Right, we've got a bit of cover from the bushes. But just as I say that, I get stabbed in the fucking face. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, um, we seem to have cover from the bushes and we seem to be okay, so everything's. Oh, I just got stabbed in the face. Great. The only thing um, I'm kind of a bit wary about is some of the servers have really long spawn times and well 19 seconds for a spawn time I mean it is <laughs> it's fairly long it is fairly long to watch I mean I don't mind since I'm playing but for some of you guys which are watching are probably just thinking oh really 20 seconds? Fuck's sake. I and mean, well, I would be thinking that. Shit, 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 shit. Oh my god. Did our own teammate just kill us? What an idiot. Where is he on the damn. He's not even on the leaderboard. He must be somewhere really low. Bloody idiot. Right, I'm actually going to play defensively now. Because I'm dying way too much. Yeah. 
But yeah, I do like the Springfields. Um, I haven't really tried out the Americans all that much, if I'm honest. This is pretty much the first time I've actually properly... Proper... Damn, I can't even speak. That I'm actually playing the Americans properly. There we go. It's like 2 o'clock at night uh, in the UK. I'm tired as hell. I can't even speak properly, so... Ignore my bullshit, that's all I can say. But the, the Springfield is good. The only complaint I really have is the iron sights. The iron sights really suck on this weapon. Or well, at least for me they do. No, I'm just really worried someone's going to come over here because this, this is where I actually died last time. Take a look at our map again. See if we can find any red dots or exclamation marks on the map, I should say. I'll watch your back. You watch my back, I'll watch your back. Cool? Cool. Right, let's crouch over here. Try and get a line of sight on these people. Which probably is not going to happen now, is it? Right, I'm going to crawl, crawl towards that border there. Or that defensive line, I should say. Man, I am exposed. I am so exposed. <laughs> Look at me. My hand's just stuck into the barrier right there. But you yeah, guys, I really do apologize. I haven't played Guadalcanal for a very, very long time. Um, well, I haven't played it at all. I think I played it a few times when I didn't record, just to kind of get, get the gist of the map, but... Um, I usually play as the Japanese. I never usually play this map as the American, so um, I do apologize for the poor gameplay, but I want to get a video out for you guys to sh kind of show most of the maps, if not all of them, and you know, give you guys an idea of how Rising Sun is. And honestly, guys, it is really fun. It is really fun. There's another guy in there. Did I just hit or did someone just shout I'm here? Anyways, there is a 20 second lockdown. Now I'm not quite sure what that is, so I can't really comment on that. Smoke over there, oh fuck. Good shot. Good shot, dude. Right. There's our teammates in here and they didn't. Okay, match one. <laughs> well, well, I didn't do a hell of a lot, I can tell you that. But, yeah guys, that was Guadalcanal. Um, I started off as the Japanese, but obviously switched over to the Americans. Well, I was forced to switch over to the Americans, but hey, no worries. Anyways guys, if you like to see more Red Orchestra 2 gameplay, then, you know, subscribe to my channel, like the video, and I'll have more videos up. If you want to see certain classes, certain guns, certain maps on Rising Sun, then let me know. I will happily, you know, um, upload some videos on that. And yeah, guys, stay tuned. And as always, take care.